What's up guys? Welcome to Snakes and Trails Season 3. My name is Tyler Carlson and today we're going back out looking for Massasauga. So far this season I've only seen two that were hit by cars on the road. So I'm really hoping we can come across one that's alive tonight and I'm getting a bit of an earlier start than normal to hopefully make that happen. So anyway, let's get at it and find one of these snakes. All right, guys, that didn't take long. First pass on the road. And I got this beautiful Massasauga. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get him off the road and get some pictures of him. So cool. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to these snakes for a little bit because this road has a lot of traffic right now. And I don't wanna let them go while there's a lot of cars going by, um, increasing their risk that they might get run over. So I'm gonna hold on to them until the traffic's died down a little bit, and then I'm gonna let them go. Um, but anyway, pretty cool to be finding some snakes. All right guys, so here's another look at this Massasauga, Cistrurus catenatus edwards eye. He's a venomous species of snake that um, is in a different genus than normal rattlesnakes. He's in the genus of pygmy rattlesnakes, Cistrurus. Um, and they're really, really cool snakes. Really excited to finally see one alive on these roads out here. Um, but it's time to go ahead and get some photos of him and let him go. Pretty cool. Not bad. All right, guys. So the next snake I found tonight is this cool gopher snake, um, Petuophis catenifer of Venus. This one's a really pretty red tint. Um, pretty excited to see him. Um, it's actually, I think it might be my first um, not baby gopher snake I've seen this year. Um, so anyway, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a little bit of footage of him for you guys and let him go. All right guys, photographing that Massasauga and that gopher snake getting some footage was such a pain in the butt. They literally would not stay still, especially that Massasauga. It just wanted to cruise and cruise and cruise um, to the point where it was kind of sketchy. It was pretty dangerous actually to be photographing that snake. Um, but I finally, finally, finally got it to sit still and got some pictures. But oh my gosh, what a stressful time. Um, I know I love snakes, but sometimes when they won't sit still, especially a, a venomous snake that's potentially dangerous, sometimes that's just torture. But anyway, um, I'm very happy that I got to see a Massasauga finally. Oh my gosh, such good news. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head home and um, I'm gonna lump in whatever herping I do next into the rest of this video. So I'll see you on the flip side. And we're back guys. So um, it is now, I think a couple of days later, and we've had a little bit of moisture actually. It was uh, cold and wet the last couple of days, which I'm hoping now that it's warmed up a little bit um, will provoke a little bit more snake movement than we were having previously. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and of course, I'll show you whatever I find. Holy crap, guys, there's a snake right here. That was easy. It's 
little gopher snake. Cool. Hey, little buddy, come here. Kind of funny. All that work flipping for nothing. But we got this gopher. Feisty guy. Woohoo! Here. Let's let him go over here. Off the road. Get out of here, friend. There you go. All right, snakes are moving. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're running into a really decent storm here. There's a lot of wind and a lot of rain. So um, anyway, I'm gonna drive down from here to um, somewhere drier. Uh, it looks like there is, over that way, it looks like there's some light on the other side of the mountain. So I'm gonna head down that way and see if I can't um, find something in the desert. We'll see what happens. Well, that, guys, is my target species. Um, being eaten by ants after being hit by a car. Total drag. Still loose. Ugh, have I told you guys how much it sucks to find your target species dead on the road? I know I have. Stop running over snakes, people. Please, I'm out here looking for them. Uh, so that was a hog nose. That was the snake I came out here to look for. Um, yeah, it's a major bummer to see one dead. It was pretty recently hit too, which sucks. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna keep cruising. Maybe I'll get lucky and come across one still. All right guys, out here with the first snake. Let's check it out. That's a Western Diamondback, Crotalus Aatrox. Pretty cool. All right guys, my first snake of the night is this uh, Crotalus Aatrox, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Pretty cool, first live snake since that little gopher earlier but i'm excited to see him and excited to keep going snakes are moving all right guys i just found our next snake he's right up here on the road um let's check it out maybe it's uh oh man if that's what i think it is i'm gonna be stoked oh it's not but it's a cute little prairie rattlesnake, tiny little neonate. It has just enough to rattle on him. Pretty peachy color. Let me go ahead and get him off the road. Come here, friend. He's feisty. I was hoping it was gonna be a Massasauga. Here you go. Later. All right, guys, this is the next snake, and it's my absolute favorite snake in the world to see. You ready for this? Desert King Snake, Lampra Peltis Splendida. Hell yeah, guys. <laughs> Gorgeous, beautiful animal. Let's get it off the road here. You're fine, quit being feisty. All right guys, so here's this beautiful Lampropeltis splendida, the desert king snake. And these animals are probably my favorite animals to find in this area of New Mexico. One of my all time favorite genuses, Lampropeltis, is the family of king snakes and milk snakes. Oh, and look at that jet black belly. That's so gorgeous, such a cool snake. He's got yellow speckles on his back and sides and black blotches and a black sock head. But, oh my gosh, guys. This is a, a male, you can tell because of the lump at the back of his tail. He's probably out looking for a lady to be with. Um, but, man, I had a feeling that recent moisture would bring out some snakes. And I was sure right. 
so cool. What an amazing snake. I'm gonna get some pictures and video of him and let him go. All right, guys, snakes are starting to move. Let's see what this is. Wow, what a pretty long nosed snake. I'm gonna go ahead and get him off the road and get some photos and video of him. All right, guys, so here's another look at this little long nosed snake, Rhinochelis leconte. This is a little wiggly guy. I can't even hardly get him in focus, but look how high red this individual is. Really, really pretty snake. I'm really excited to see it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some footage for you guys and let him go, of course, but what a neat little find. Really excited to be finding snakes on this road again in uh, numbers. All right, guys, there's a car coming, but here's the next snake. It's a glossy snake. Pretty cool, I'm gonna grab it and save it from this car coming. Neat. All right guys, here's another look at this glossy snake, Arizona Elegans. These guys are really cool and we've seen quite a few of them this season already. Um, but anyway, really cool to see. This is also called the, uh, the subspecies in particular, is the painted desert glossy snake because they can be pretty colorful. But anyway, cool to find. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some footage of him and let him go. All right guys, next snake out on the road is this um, glossy snake, Painted Desert Glossy Snake. Really cool little guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off the road and keep going. Don't be feisty. Come here. Let's get you off the road. There you go. No, that's towards the road. Go this way. No, that's towards the road. Go away from the road. There you go. Later. <laughs> Man, it's a cooler night, but snakes are moving. All right guys, so that's the end of another really cool night of snake hunting. It was really cool to see that desert king snake and a couple of other species of snakes as well. I think we saw one, two, three, four, five, six species of snakes tonight, which is pretty good. Um, anyway, until next week, this has been Snakes and Trails. Later. <laughs>